Hey guys, welcome back to the Black Llama YouTube channel. Hiking, camping, etc. Now, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe, like, share my videos if you like them, and turn on that bell notification so you know when I've uploaded a new video. It means a lot to me when I hear back from you guys too about videos that I have made. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Nature Hike Cloud Up One upgraded tent. Now, as you can see, it's brand new. I have just purchased it. I actually purchased 10 of them for a club I'm with. And it looks great on paper. I haven't actually set one up yet. So I did a bit of research, a lot of research actually about them and decided that these were the best tent to buy. So let's get into it. Now, as I said, I have not actually set this tent up before. So you will be seeing me setting it up for the first time which will show you how easy it is to set up now a few things i'm not going to go into all the graphic details about its waterproof rating its sizes and everything like that you can look all that up for yourself on the internet on the nature hike website but <clears throat> what i am going to do is i've got my scales here and i'm going to to weigh it in the bag as it is with everything there now my scales read 1.86 so 1.86 kilograms is a very very lightweight hiking tent let's get into it and set it up okay so here we go first up this tent comes with a ground sheet which is a really, really good idea if you're camping on something that's mucky, wet, or maybe even a little bit prickly. So you've got your ground sheet, which is, as I said, a really, really good idea. Now I'm gonna put the bags in my pocket so I don't blow away in the wind. Also, I may have a little bit of trouble here with the wind. It comes with this Velcro band to keep it packed up nice and tight. Now I can see this Velcro band being extremely easy to lose. So you will want to keep an eye on that Velcro band. So straight back into the bag there with that. Now let's have a look at the, the poles. The poles. They're actually fairly lightweight. And now this is a one man tent. So don't expect that. Now with that weight, I've also weighed extra plastic, which will not be in that weight. So it's gonna come out a few grams lighter. The poles are, they look pretty decent to me. They're elastic sprung. So they just snap together, pretty easy. Now it is a jointed system. So it's got this nice little, when I get it together, this nice little lock, uh, three-way system. This aim, uh, age in access, it gives you a wider door and a, a much taller door. So the poles, the poles look pretty good. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm folding them back up, it's so that I can time how long it takes to set the tent up for you. So at the moment, just having a look through, a little peg bag here. It's got some um, quite nice little pegs in it. They're um, quite a nice little peg. They're really lightweight. They're a three star peg. Um, as you can see, three stars, or like a, a triangle, which is going to make it really strong, and they can have a smaller peg. I quite like that. Got uh, guy ropes and a few other things in there. So we'll find out where they go a bit later on. Okay, so... Inside the bag is really cool. It has a instruction seat sheet. So it says step one is to put the ground sheet down. Step two, put the 
um, poles over, step three, hook up the inner, step four, put the fly over and then guy rope it out. And it has a list of what is in it, which is gonna be really handy for me because when I've got a bunch of kids using this tent, I go, have a look at your paper, have you got everything? So that's all nicely inside the bag there. Rightio, let's get into it and uh, see how long it takes. So, here we go. There you have it, the Nature Hike Cloud One. Sorry, the Nature Hike Cloud Up One Up upgraded. That's a bit of a mouthful, but um, let's have a look at it. Now, as you noticed, fairly easy tent to set up. I haven't ever set one of these tents up before. I have seen how to set it up, and um, it took me about seven minutes. That was still with pulling things out. I had to tie these on, which you won't have to do again. So that, that will save you time. So it's a very easy tent to set up. Now, one of the things that I found that I did like while I was setting this up was the, the pegs. But what I found is I actually do really like these pegs. They have the little notch in there to hold the guy ropes. And I quite like that design. Another thing that I found that I like is just here. The tent just clips on and has adjustments to tighten it or loosen it. But if you choose not to pitch it, the, well, the poles go through both the tent and the uh, ground sheet. But if you choose not to pitch it with the ground sheet, you can still pitch it with the tent. So I quite like that. These awesome little snap clips here. They just twist lock on like that. Really simple to put on. Um, makes it a breeze to set up. Great design. And this is a one person tent. Now let's have a look inside. Now as you can see, it is a fairly high one person tent. A lot of other one person tents that you're gonna get out there on the market are actually low. So I like how that folds back. It's got a little clip here that you can actually roll it up and put that through, and that will hold it out of the way. Really good feature. The zips seem fairly nice. That also has a, a rollback clip, like that. Now, as you can see inside, it's quite large. I've got to duck my head down to look out but I can sit up in it, no worries. I have about that much space above my head. One thing I've just noticed is that you will have to be careful when you sit here like this, it sort of pulls on the, the edges of the zip here. Um, I would like if that had a little bit more play in it, but that's not a reason to not buy the tent. There's a little pocket on the, each side here to store things like your keys. Now I'm gonna throw all my hiking gear in here so you can see how full it is. So, as you can see, there's enough room out here in the vestibule for your shoes. There's enough room for me, and I'm not small, to comfortably lie down. My feet are nearly at the end. And there's enough room for me to have my backpack here beside me. Now, I could move that down if I wanted to, if it was really wet or cold. 
and bring my shoes inside there just like that. So there's plenty of room and if I want to, I can even sit up here, access my pack, get out what I need ready for the day. As you can see, there's plenty of room in the tent uh, for a one man hiking tent. It's actually more spacious than some other tents on the market. And for the weight, it's pretty good. Now you can see that I can easily sit up in here. Um, I've got my Cedar Summit hiking mat and sleeping bag so that you can see. Uh, if you wanna know why I've got the Cedar Summit gear, uh, check out the reviews on my Cedar Summit mat. Um, I did a, a review on that. It's amazing, Matt. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, this tent's got the, the mesh roof. It's got a little hook up here, which will be good to hang your torch or something if you need to while you're in here at night. Now, just here, you've got a little breathing flap. It has a little stalk here that you can push in and Velcro just like that. Now, I did mention before it may condensate up. Now, this is going to help stop that condensation building up in your tent. Uh, let it breathe out so that you don't get any condensation on the inside. Great little feature, great little built-in stick. Just remember, disconnect it before you pack the tent back up. Now, an interesting feature with this tent, say it's pouring rain and you don't want to get your fly wet. Now, you're going to have to start here, but you can actually unclip these awesome little clips from the outside of the tent with the fly still up. Just like that. Then, because of the way it is here, you need to unclip your, your fly. Your fly's still gonna be up. You can clip it into the ground sheet. And you could do this with this door zipped up once you got to this point. Now to do the other end. Don't forget to unclip the pegs at the back, but then you can actually fold up your tent inner from the inside of the tent, staying completely dry out from the rain. So that will stay nice and dry, and you've still got the tent up. If you need to keep this dry, let's wait while you're hiking. One option you can do it, you don't have to, but it does work. So there you have it. The Nature Hike Cloud Up One upgraded tent. Um, great little tent for going hiking, lightweight, lots of room inside, easy to pitch. I would recommend this tent. Um, I've yet to use it in heavy, heavy rain. I'll see how that goes. I'll make another video once this tent has been used a little bit and we'll see how it holds up once I'm out hiking on the tracks um, with a bunch of kids using them. That's gonna be the big test. So if you've liked my videos, make sure to hit that like, share and subscribe on the way out. If you didn't do it on the way in, very much appreciated. Check out my other videos, the videos on the Cedar Summit, um, uh, hiking mat review. I've got another review up there from the cheap ones that you see on eBay. Check that one out. Um, guys, thanks for watching. See you around on YouTube or out in the bush somewhere. Have fun, guys.